What's up, nerdlings? What's up? Hey, we're kicking it old school. Do you nerd for pickups? Do you nerd? Welcome to Do You Nerd, where I, Tom, and my wife, Lacey. Now we collect all kinds of things. And something that we don't get to talk enough about are comic books. <laughs> get, get back here. Stop trying to click away. I know there's video games in the background, but we're going to talk about some comic books because... Comics are better than video games. Excuse me, Lacey. Honestly, we're just suckers for anything with a good storyline. So, you know, whether it's movie, book, television show, comic, game, we just like good storylines. Yes. And it really is fun to kind of see what's out there because we'll pick up some new stuff, but we also like to thumb through oh, some of the bargain man. boxes and everything. Like this, one of the new ones, this What If Dark with Spider-Gwen. Do I even need to ask why you would have been interested in picking this up? I like dark. Oh, that's not where I was going. <laughs> no, I like Spider-Gwen. And I briefly thumbed through this. I could com be completely wrong, but from what I briefly gathered was this is the Spider-Gwen of the 616 universe, not her universe, where Peter Parker tries to save her like he normally does instead of snapping her back. He falls and hurts himself. She starts saying 616 in universes. I love it when you're talking nerdy to me. Okay, I think this is one that you must have picked up. I don't yeah. even remember seeing that. Unleashed? I did, Unleashed, because it's all Marvel animals. <laughs> so you've got the dog from Inhumans, you've got Frog Thor, but it's basically the Marvel Universe animals, and they get together, and they have adventures. This is right up my friggin' alley, because I love animals, and I love comics, and I love Marvel, so... Why not? You know what I'm not gonna do though? Clean up their super mess. Did you wanna see my snake? <laughs> They're super animals, it probably just disappears. Yeah, and nice. smells like flowers. <laughs> you like the series Exiles. I do, because I really like Blink, and this was filling in some gaps that I needed. Perfect. I enjoy picking up anything that's a game related. So the Tomb Raider comic, this is the image one back in the day. She did a lot of crossovers in this time. They would- uh, I don't recognize her, her boobs aren't triangles with crossovers with Fathom, with Witchblade and Darkness. And speaking of filling in some gaps, I grabbed a couple of issues of the Army of Darkness versus Reanimator. Why is the Necronomicon so happy and the syringe it has did, yeah. a smiley face on look, it? Look how happy the that Necronomicon is, is. Most of you guys are probably familiar with the world of Evil Dead, but how many of you are familiar with the Reanimator movies? Let us know down below. Herbert West brought a lot of dead people back to life. And not one of them showed any appreciation. Now the next stack, these are just some ones that I found out thrifting in bargain bins. Most of these I picked up because they were a buck. I feel like you can't go wrong when something's a dollar. So I did grab this Web of Spider-Man legitimately just because this cheesy cover tag here as spidey <laughs> battles the cult of love his wife mary jane poses for a lingerie catalog vanna white look out i don't know that guy on the cover he's gonna do things he probably shouldn't be doing mm. i grabbed a couple of issues of ascension something that even though we're not familiar with i know you're tasting covers yes it looks so familiar to me but i have no idea where it's from and honestly i want a toy I feel like you probably have a toy. I probably do have that I toy. I think probably. that's why you're probably. so familiar. <laughs> Though I really didn't follow the Gen 13 comics. I grabbed this one because this is a classic Campbell cover, but I couldn't resist these other two. One being a crossover with Generation X. So a little Marvel Gen 13 crossover. And then this Superman Gen 13. And I just love the, the cover, the classic, you know, those sensible khaki pants superhero reveal. <laughs> Tied into that Tomb Raider comic, another video game comic, I've actually found a couple of these Double Dragon issues, and I don't think there's very many in this run, so we'll have to see how close we can get G -G. to a full set. I mean, there are Double Ds that I like more than Double Dragon. I, I I'm just, I I'm know. just saying. Wow! Al Pacino! It's not Al anymore! It's Dunk! Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do! In fact, that could almost be a great lead-in to these comics. Once again, grab them because they were only a dollar. And I honestly, he didn't get them for himself. 
He got them for me. Yeah. Why Why would you want these heroes for comic? Well, because there's Black for Cat on front. I like Black Cat. And then, I don't know what the hell's going on with this cover, but it just looks um exciting. And then again, Black Cat, don't know who everybody else is, and Black Cat. What did I tell you on this That's Dr. Doom one? Pole. That's not a sword. Yeah, they totally had to have taken inspiration from a certain image of something. But yeah, these look cool. I definitely need to find them because we did not get them in quite order, so I need to, need to find more of those. I did luck out and I got to fill in a couple of gaps with an issue of X Factor during the Inferno storyline. I actually had like four of these in my hands from the storyline and I checked our app to see which ones we already had and we had all but this one. So I saved like three whole dollars. If you don't have an app for your comics, you're a loser. No, I'm just kidding. Man! <laughs> I'm feisty today. Is this aggressive enough for you? <laughs> I grabbed a couple of issues of Mutant X. So I don't remember how long this series went on, but I always thought it was fascinating because the premise is that Havoc, Cyclops' younger brother, is transported to an alternate dimension. And it's a brand new one as of the time of printing this. He gets it on with his brother's girl. So it wasn't one that we were familiar with. You're not wrong there. He does have a romance with I Madeline know. Pryor, the Goblin Queen. The thing that was always so great about this, though, was because it is an alternate universe, you get to see classic characters from the Marvel world, not just X-Men, in different ways. I mean, like, uh, this one here, it looks like Spider-Man kept those extra arms on him, and then the... They come in handy, ladies. <laughs> and then the uh, Canadian attempts at the ultimate weapon with Wolverine and Sabretooth here, they're still savages. So it's fun to check out like alternate storylines. Your best cat, meow. Yeah. No, meow. Yeah. And the last comic I grabbed for you because of the cover. Yes, I love my bombshells, and so they are doing Wonder Woman, Supergirl, and Mara as the bombshells, and I have a couple of the action figures and Funko Pops of them. They're fun. Love that series. An off thing that. I, I literally cannot tell, are we collecting or not? Like, I don't know if we're collecting. And it's for the articles. <laughs> I don't know if we're collecting Playboy magazine or not. There was a booth that had a bunch of them. They were half price, and I didn't want to not take advantage of a half price sale. So using an app that has the issues that we already have cataloged in our collection, there were a couple of gaps that I was able to fill. Get your mind out of the gutter. I like looking for the bunny on the cover. I was talking about the gaps. Oh. <laughs> we were missing issues January <laughs> and February of 1998. This is the holiday anniversary edition. And we were missing issue June of 1999. Where's the bunny? Just do me one favor, nerdlings, please do not comment down below which ones of you were born after 98 and 99 because that's just going to really, really hurt. Oh, by that's the way. That's when some of us graduated high school. By the way, the bunny that she's talking about on this June 99 issue. It's in the feathers. Playboy was always very clever I like it when they did time. it with the hair, too. That was always fun. And then ending my stuff on a cleaner note, I grabbed a guidebook for Dead He's Island. something else. The guidebook, even though it is one of the paperback ones, it's in really good shape. I honestly shape. don't think anybody ever used it. The, the spine is not cracked at all. I went through this game solo, by the way, which I think is a pretty good feat because I believe the game was pretty much designed to play. It's a co-op experience, yes. but I did it all by myself. I had a lot of fun with the game, one exception, enemies that scale yes. to your level That's and difficulty. Crap. I would go through all this trouble to gather these materials and go in this place to get this weapon that's supposed to be so much more powerful than the one that I have. In the meantime, my character levels up, ergo the zombies level up, and now that more powerful weapon is useless. Pretty much, it's no better than the one that I had right before it. I don't like when games do that, but let me know. What do you guys think of scaling difficulty? Well, I was proud of you because you managed to find the uh, hidden cabin with the Friday the 13th guy in there. Yeah. And you killed him all on your own. Jason, not Jason. Oh, that guy was a pain. That was, that was an intense fight. This is Jason's area. 
Uh, you can see the dead people hanging on the crosses. That's a dead giveaway. And there he is in his famous white sleeveless shirt, hockey mask, and machete just hacking the shit out of some zombies. <laughs> well, it wasn't all comics, guidebooks, and nudie magazines. There was yeah, one last thing. I got thing. a toy. Of I got, got one toy. of my favorite characters from Voyager. Tom Paris and Belana Torres are my two absolute favorite characters, followed very, very closely by Jerry Ryan. I honestly couldn't remember if I had this one or not, and I was like, well, who cares? It was on sale, and he's in the box. These are hard for me to decide if I want to take out or not. Like, when I find these out of the boxes, I love it. I absolutely love it, and I love playing, playing with them and posing them. But when they're like this, and it's a collector's edition, and they're numbered, I kind of have a hard time sometimes deciding if I want to take them out or not, just because. But they are meant to be taken out and played with, so I, I'm always, like, on the fence. And I'm not going to ask certain YouTubers what I should do, because I know what they'll say. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> uh, thanks to Future Time, I believe they have already said it. Oh. Well, one last person we could ask is Mr. Brosman of Midwest Media Show. Now, uh, fun fact, that He's man, not intelligent. he, he cannot know. stand Deep Space Nine, but he loves Voyager, just like Lady Lacey here. So, yeah, chat with him sometime about he how terrible DS9 is. He doesn't know which DS1 one is the is. best for it. He doesn't know. <laughs> Today, I am going to watch... Uh, YouTube highlights of Voyager all day long because yes today I'm going to admit that Voyager is the best out of all of them all right well <laughs> nerdlings there you go just a fun little uh pickup video of old some some eclectic items for our collection even the ones that we're not quite sure if we're collecting or not and you with a toy that you're not immediately ripping out of the box I'm shocked to be fair I am always surprised at the face sculpts that these toys had for the time period because they didn't really do that well back then and I think you need to get out of my way because I need to go I guess she's going to go read the articles on the back of her toy box <laughs> leave some comments we'll catch you later nerdlings bye nerdlings see ya what's my name Dunkachino it's a whole new game Dunkachino you want creamy goodness I'm your friend say hello to my chocolate blend I do because it's Tom Paris and he's my honky favorite honky favorite wow not honky hunky hunky but he's a honky he's a white boy and my wife Lacey <laughs> we love to collect all kinds of stuff you know <laughs> something <laughs> you be weird you Fly your freak flag. I'm flying my freak flag. <laughs> You're gonna put my eye out, I know it. You got two. Nice. Sorry, I started choking on Skittles. Shuck shit. Shuck shit. Shuck shit, come back. Hey, that's mine. That's mine. Mine now. It's mine. It's mine. Ow. <laughs> <laughs>